First, let's start by creating all the elements needed for this app. That is the menu, the slider, and the header, or the logo, and the text. So we'll create a new Airflow Android project. Click OK. And let's start by creating the menu. Let's go over to my rectangle tool, go to my colors panel, and switch this to linear gradient. This to light green, and here we'll make it about make it bluish, light bluish color. Change this into a lighter form, like this, and we don't want any stroke, and just draw the rectangle. Okay, click V, double click, and change the height to 800, and the width to about... 330. Okay, that looks good. And now let's hit F8 to convert it to a symbol. Now we need to create buttons for the menu. Again, using our rectangle tool, choose a solid green color this time. And we need a yellow stroke. Okay, that seems good. Double click, select both the fill and the stroke, copy, paste once, paste twice. Now using our text tool, static text, change the font color to white and the font size to 30 or 40. First, we'll call the first one home. Actually, this could be about 50. And that looks good. Okay. Make it bald. And let's change the font type to Arial. Okay, home and and SWV for stage web view, which is the property we're going to access when we create the stage web view page. And finally, YouTube. For this one, we'll link to the page containing the YouTube uh, movie. Okay, and here's a quick tip. If you're, if you are adding text on top of your buttons, click the text and then hit Ctrl B twice or right click it and hit break apart once and then twice. Okay, this transforms it from regular text to a simple shape. That's because whenever you create text on a button, when you click the button, the mouse cursor will actually try to select the text, not click the button. So clicking the button won't work. So transform your text into simple shapes. Okay, now select this one, hit F8, convert it to a symbol, click OK, select this one, symbol, Call this one stage or stage web view underscore button. And this one will be called YouTube underscore button. And this one, oops, F8. 
code we will be called home underscore button. Next we need to select all of these, cut, go inside the menu, paste, and move them to their appropriate place. Okay. Next we need to add the Facebook, the Google Plus, and the Twitter icons. So we'll go to File, Import, Import Stage. I have them in my documents. Here, here, there they are. Click Open. Q to free transform them will make them about this big. Okay, so they all seem to be the same size now to the bottom, this up, this here. Now you can select all of them and align them or distribute them equally along the vertical center. Okay, all seems good so far. Hit F8, convert this guy to a symbol, convert it to a button, click OK, this one as well, forgot to name that one, it's OK, Twitter, underscore button, show library, Facebook, underscore button, and this one will be G plus, or I'm not allowed to use special characters in naming, so we'll call it Google underscore button. And one thing we forgot is to add these inside the menu. So let's shift click them. Control X to cut, get inside it, Control V to paste, just like that. Go back, and now we have our menu set up. Actually, now that I look at it, it seems like our menu should be a little bit wider. So go inside it, then just enlarge it a little bit like so and looks like we're good to go now let's create the menu button which opens up and closes the menu so we go to the rectangle tool again at the solid color blue and no stroke this time just draw out shape. You can choose whatever colors you like. I'm really bad at organizing colors and and inside the menu we're gonna use the rectangle tool again but this time we're gonna round the edges a lot. 20 and then change this to yellow or blue or green or whatever you want simply draw one shape like this copy paste it three times or two times now we have our menu button you select 
all of it. Move the menu away, select all of it, hit F8, convert it to a symbol, called menu underscore button. Click OK. Now let's add the logo. Again, go to File, Import, Import to Stage, and this is the logo. Q, free transform it. And we're just gonna go the same height of the menu button and the whole width of the stage. Okay, next let's import the images for the slider. Again, go to import. Or first, first, before that. These uh, items that we have on the stage now, which are the menu with all of its button, the menu button and the logo, are going to be present on all of the pages. Whatever page you are, you're going to have the menu, the menu button and the logo. So it's safe to create two more keyframes. So these keyframes now will have the logo, the menu and the menu button on them. And then we can start customizing each uh, each page with its own unique elements. So now on the first page, which is going to be the home page, we can add the home slider and the text. On the second page, we can add the stage web view elements. And on the third page, we can add the YouTube video.